Hello, Noel Michaels here. So, during my last video, I had a sink full of dishes that needed to be cleaned, and now they are clean and in the draining board, and they're actually pretty dry. And I'm going to need some of those to make our meal. I'm making a cooking video. Ooh, 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 ooh. So exciting. I don't really cook. That's the way I think, but sometimes I do. So, Today we're going to be making whatever I have in the refrigerator, which isn't very much. Today I have baby spinach, butter, half an avocado. You leave the pit in so it doesn't go bad. I have some garlic minced garlic in olive oil. I have some eggs. I have, oh, these were a little bag of chips that came from a salad from Wawa's and they're still good. They were in my refrigerator. They're good till November of this year. It's only June. Well, it's July now. It's July 1st. My goodness. Okay, so I have that. Anything else? Let me think. I have a feeling like there's something else. Oh, olives. I love olives. Green olives. One minute. Here we go. Goya salad olives. These are my favorite because they're already chopped up. And ready to go. But before we start with this meal, whatever it ends up in, um, my son wants some pizza. And I do have some leftover pizza, which is here. Leftover pizza is from Domino's, I think. He had this last night. So I want to do this first and then start on mine. Yes to me, reheating cold pizza is cooking. Sorry to say, but that's the truth. I'm going to put this phone on airplane mode so it doesn't <laughs> keep making noises. You don't need that to confuse me. Okay, so concentrating on reheating the pizza. I'm going to switch you guys back to this front view and in my oven I have some. You might have seen this at the store. It's copper and there's a tray and there's a wiry thing. And this is amazing. It cost about $20 I bought it for. And it's supposed to make things crispy, so I thought if I have to rehe reheat french fries or something, this would be great. But I really heat everything in here because it keeps the oven clean. You don't have to clean the oven when you have it in here. It's amazing. I've lived here since November. It's July 1st. The oven is still the same way it was when I moved in. Nothing to clean there. So I always use this. Now with pizza, you have to feel the crust. If it's soft, which this is, it's fine. Just put it on the tray. If you have pizza that has hard crust, that's going kind of like feeling like it's stale a little bit, then just get a little bit of water on it and then put it in the oven and it will come out soft. That's a trick I learned many years ago and it's still good. So here's the pizza sitting in the tray. I'm going to show you another trick. See, because I'm putting it between the bottom. Um, I'm forgetting the name of the thing. The bottom shelf and the top shelf, there's a space. That's where I'm putting it in there, in the middle of the oven. And um, this is a trick because... <sighs> I tend to burn things. I get distracted. 
doing something else, and I'll burn it. So what I do now is I put it in a cold oven, and I turn on the oven to about 375. By the time the oven heats up to 375, it will beep, and then I know the pizza's ready. Isn't that amazing? I don't have to guess with timers or anything like that. It works pretty, pretty well that way. It's a great system. I've been using it for months, so I recommend it. You try it with your oven. What degrees you have to put it on, and if it beeps, if it's too much or too little, and adjust accordingly. Okay, so that's in the oven. I'm going to take one of the clean bowls and I'm going to break one egg in there. I don't really want to have too much, too many eggs. If I, if I have two eggs with everything else that's in there, and I'm not going to put the shell down, right? I'm keeping it in my hand and straight to the trash. In. Now I'm going to pick up the eggs and I'm going to put them into the refrigerator right away right into the refrigerator. If you do this as you go, when you're done, you have very little to clean up, and that's a trick in decluttering. Okay, so I'm going to take a fork, and I'm going to beat the egg, so it's going to be more like a scrambled egg. I'm going to go back, ooh, thought I knocked something over. I'm going to go back over here and get my handy dandy clear circular cutting board, which I love. And I'm going to chop up the baby spinach. But before I start that, I'm going to start heating up the pan. So the pan is down. in the bottom drawer in front of the stove. And I'm going to put it on medium, which is halfway. Sometimes I put things on high and then I get myself in trouble because I get distracted and then things start burning. And I've got the butter here, which I want a little bit on the pan to saute the spinach. So going to cut a piece of butter and I'm going to stick it on the knife like this and then I'm just going to rub it on the warm pan like this. I don't want to use so much butter but just enough. And if I just leave it there it'll make a big um, puddle in the middle. Make a puddle in the middle. Then I gotta try to get it to the edges. This way is much easier. So the whole pan is covered with a little sheen of butter. And whatever's left, I can just put that back into the butter. And guess where the butter's going? Into the refrigerator. Okay, two things used, two things away. I'm going to put some of the minced garlic on the butter too because that's nice to get the flavor looks like this spread it out a little bit see okay and of course then the garlic can go back in the refrigerator okay I think it's time to Get a handful of spinach and I've got the cutting board here I just lay it down hold on to it and chop it in little pieces I'm going to concentrate on making sure that any stems are left in because I just read that that's a really nutritious part but at the same time making sure the stems are cut smaller because <laughs> the other day I was sitting at the kitchen table thinking I should do a cooking video and I had made a salad with some raw baby spinach 
And as I'm thinking this, a piece <laughs> of spinach I did not um, cut small enough <laughs> went like halfway down my throat. So half of it was sitting behind the back of the tongue and some of it was in my mouth. And I started to try to get it to come out because it wasn't going down right. I didn't chew it enough. And so I'm sitting at the kitchen table and I'm like choking all on the house by myself. And I'm thinking, oh my God, this would have made a hilarious video of me choking. Uh, I tried to stay calm. You have to stay calm if you're choking, okay? Stay calm. Stay calm. I went to the kitchen sink, uh, got some water in a cup. I put it in my mouth. I gargled a little bit and then gargled up the water and the spinach came out of my mouth. So safety tip of the day, if you feel like you're choking, it's not like your air is cut off. You're just starting to panic a little bit because it's not going down and you can't get, get your and it's not coming up. Just get a little bit of water. You know, if you're at a restaurant and you got to make a disgusting mess in front of everybody, it's better than, you know, it becoming a, a big problem. So do your best. All right. So I hear that the garlic is starting to make a noise. It's sizzling. I've got the chopped spinach here to go in. I want to make sure that this is ready to go. And I think I'm going to crunch them up a little bit into small pieces. It's less to choke on. <laughs> okay. All right. So it's going to be like a little crumbly topping. I'm going to open it so it'll be ready to pour. Of course, I'm not going to let go of the top. It's going to go right into the trash. I'm not making a mess for myself. The spinach. I have these cute little clippies. They, you can get those at the dollar store, a little bag of them. In fact, I have a bag here to show you. A full bag of the clips. Very good for keeping bags closed. And spinach back in the fridge. Okay, I'm getting the spatula. Spatula here, and I'm going to add the spinach to the butter and garlic. And I'm also going to stir it a little bit because the garlic gets too brown. It's going to start burning. And the, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit to a four. Now we still haven't heard the beat that the pizza the pizza is done, so we're good on that. I'm going to get the top of another pot and cover the spinach and lower the heat even more. I might even slide it off for a few seconds because I don't want that garlic to burn. So we have left olives, avocado, a little bit of chips, tortilla kind of chips, crumbs, and we have the egg. That's what's left. I use the scissor. I don't need it anymore. Putting it away in its place. Okay. I'm going to slide it back on to the heat. We can start cooking the spinach. Meanwhile, I think I'll pick a plate for myself. I found these plates on sale, Dixie. They're kind of big. They're 10 inch plates, but I really like them. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the weird edges, the shape is different, the color. But I was really happy with these plates. This is my second package actually, because they were buy one, get one free. They were on sale. Speaking of sales, I don't know if anyone goes to Sea Town, but I have a Sea Town pretty near me. And the last few times I've gone in there, everything that was supposed to be on sale did not ring up right at the cash register. And when I called to their attention, you know, they took care of it, but it made me stand there for more time. And I don't know if they're not putting the information in the computer. Got to do your job, guys. Come on. Every, you know, and then at one point, what was it I got? I got the butter. And I saw it said, 
I don't know, 359 maybe? I wasn't really sure. There were a couple of numbers by it, but it was usually more than that. And I go to the, the register, and it's actually the manager, and I said to him, this butter was on sale. And he says to me, well, how much was it? I said, not sure. He says, oh, you, you got to know the price. I'm like, what? I've got to know the price? I've got to know the price. So I just said 359 and he rang up 359 It had come up like five something. I just don't get that. And I'm thinking, what about all the people that are going in there that are not being vigilant? Like, this does not seem right. This seems like a problem. It does. I hope they straighten it out. So here's my plate. Check on the spinach. There was some liquid on the top, so I'm holding it sideways so that goes down and helps with the steaming. I'm going to move it around a little bit so that all the um, different parts of the spinach get cooked. Nothing's left dry. It's really cooking <clears throat> quickly and cooking down nicely. Do not need the chopping, so I'm going to give it a quick, nice rinse. Go over it quickly with a little bit of a soapy uh, scrubber. And I'm going to dry it. And I'm going to put it away. I'm going to worry about that. There it is. Okay. I'm going to take the spinach off the heat. We still have not heard anything from the pizza. I'm going to turn this off for a minute because I've decided that I want to cut up the um, avocado a little bit. I don't want the whole thing. I guess maybe I'll take half of it. Just cut it like this around the pit and kind of pull at it. Hopefully half of it will break away. Let's see which half. Oh, this half. It's like it's like like a turkey bone. You know the wishbone? That's what it's like. You have to see where the pit stays. Put this back in here. Another trick is to close it most of the way and then try to take some of the air out. Suck it out. Quick close it. It has a better seal to it. It'll stay better in the fridge. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cook, I'm going to put the heat back on about half medium again. I'm going to put this in the sink, the top. I'm going to put the spinach into the egg. Spinach and garlic, I should say. Put that into the egg. There it is. The pizza's ready. I'm going to shut off the oven. Put this in the sink. I have the egg and the spinach together. I'm going to mix it up a little bit to get the egg to have that garlicky flavor. Uh, what else? Oh, the pizza. I need my oven mix. As careful as I am, if I don't have the oven mitts on, something always gets me. It's too hot to handle. Safety first. Okay. Lift it out by the tray. I can hear it sizzling and it's ready. Can actually, oh, I'll keep the oven mitts on. Let's put the pizza on the plate. The crust is nice and crispy. Really hot. I'm going to leave this on the side for my son to come and get. And I put this back into the oven and let it cool off slowly with the oven. Okay. Danger is over and the mitts go away back to where they were supposed to go.
on the hook. Is this the way they go? Yeah, this is the way they go. Okay. I think I'm going to also put some of the olives in with the egg and the spinach. I'm not going to get any of the juice to, you know, as best I can. A nice spoonful. Let's see how that looks. That look like enough? Hmm. I might do another half a spoonful. I really like olives. They have that salt kick. Close it and away. Okay. I'm going to bring back the pan that was just sitting in the clean sink. Nothing's wrong with it. Now I'm thinking I really should put a little bit more butter on there. So I'm going to go back and get the butter. That happens sometimes when, times when you're an inexperienced cook like me, that you might put something away that you still need, but it's okay. Just go over it again a little bit so the egg won't stick. And back in there. This way we won't have so much to clean up. This is really good. You can hear some people screaming maybe. <laughs> this window behind me doesn't seal right. So that's an issue. Now I gave my son my plate, so I have to get another plate from this lovely pile of pretty blue plates. Such a pretty little design. It's kind of wintry. I really need that today because it's really hot out. July 1st, 2018. Hot. Okay. So, spinach, garlic, olive, and egg. I'm going to put it onto the pan. It's sizzling, which is telling me it's a bit hot. I don't want it to be too hot because I really don't like my eggs brown. So I'm going to lower the heat a little bit and I'm going to rinse this off in the sink. Rinsing off helps with the mess later. And since I have time, I'm actually going to wash it quickly. Wash as I go. Less to do later. I love having less to do later. Turn you guys here. Just don't want the sheet to fall. Quick rinse, quick wash, and back, back to dry. Okay, so what's left? We've got the chips, we've got the avocado, knife, spoon, spatula. All right, let's look at this. It's starting to look good. Go under with the spatula. It's a little bit wet, but not too bad. Flip it, nothing's turning real brown. I like that, I like it yellow. Okay going to, hmm, I think I'm just going to put the avocado directly on top of the egg when it's done. I'm not going to chop it or do anything, cut it up. I'll cut it when, when the egg is done, and that should be very soon. In fact, I'm going to shut off the heat, because sometimes I forget about the heat and leave it on, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to get into a danger zone. Danger, danger, danger zone. No, none of that. I want to stay safe in the kitchen so that it remains a positive experience and I'm more likely to do it again. Things that are negative experiences, you are not likely to do it again. And um, that's just the way things are with adults and with kids. Okay. Let me take a peek under there. See, looks cooked. Okay, so the egg is on the plate. I'm going to 
put the pan back in the sink. And I've got the knife and the avocado. So I'm going to just cut some slices, scraping against the skin to make sure I try to get as much as possible onto the egg. And let's see. I'm doing pretty well. Now you see there's still some on there. So I think I'll take the spoon and I'll scrape it to get all of the avocado. Let's see. Let's see. Get all of the avocado out. That's much better. Put that on top of the egg. Gonna kind of smear it, sort of like as if it was butter. Maybe chop a little bit. Okay. I never used the chips before, so that's a new experience. I love avocado. Avocado peel straight into this garbage. I'll probably need the fork and the knife. Just give them a quick rinse. can use those with my meal. Um, I usually put a seasoning mix. This one is good. This one's from Red Robin Restaurant. You can buy it there. It has a bunch of flavors. But I'm going to be putting the chips. Chips have salt. This has salt. It's going to be a little, a little bit too much salt. Oh, these. I like these. In fact, I, last time I put them inside the egg. I forgot. I'll just put a little bit of these on top, make it give it a little bit of a spicy kick. You know, those are the little dried pepper flakes you get for the pizza. People like it on pizza. That's on there. Um, I also have some black pepper. I can use some of that, just a little bit. Not too much. And also, I have... <clears throat> ground turmeric. Yeah. It has curcumin in it. It fights all kinds of bad things. It's very good for your health. So I'm going to put a little sprinkle of that on top as well. So it's a really healthy meal. Okay, let's think about this. Oh, this needs to be washed. Quick over here. You can see me, right? Okay. A little bit of soap. Really scrub the front of it. Okay. Feel with your fingers to make sure that it's smooth, nothing stuck on it, no food stuck. In there. Quick wipe of the pan. With the soapy rubber. A good rinse. Dry. And the top. Okay. Cleaning as you go. Don't leave yourself a mess. Uh, plates go up in the counter, in the cabinet, from the counter to the cabinet. I do not need the spoon any longer, so I'm going to throw that away. Here are the chips. I'm going to sprinkle. Wow, there's quite a few chips in here. I don't even need this whole thing, so I'm going to fold it over and clip it and put it back in the fridge. Got my clips. Do, do, do. I need a scissor to open the clips. Got it. The rest can go into the drawer. 
Don't need this anymore. Don't need this. Don't need scissor. I kind of came out with the scissor, so I'll put that back too. Everything goes away. It seems like a pain in the neck to keep putting things away, but really, when you get in the habit of it, you don't even think about it. And let's look at the delicious meal. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of myself. That's a real good one. Yeah. Where are we? Oh my goodness. 30 minutes? Could it be? Okay. <laughs> well, Noel Michael signing out. I hope you had a good visit with me. Take care, guys.